Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here. Quick note about my readings, they are for your sun, moon and ascendant, so whether you're a sun, uh, sun moon or rising sign Aquarius, these are for you. Is anybody else feeling the Mercury retrograde? Is it over yet? Um, this one, <laughs> not even in the retrograde, like literally the whole run up to it. I have been stuttering, I've been struggling to get my words out, I literally am having like a million thoughts at the same time and I feel like they're all trying to get out of my mouth uh, at the same time. Uh, for those of you that are uh, continued subbies, thank you for being here. For those of you that are new or just stopping by, thank you for being here. Um, don't forget to like, share and hit the subscribe button. I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So for our key to the week, as I'm sure you've noticed, the monthlies are very late. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I've just been so busy. Um, so for our key to the week, which is a random pull, we have the hanged man. And I think this is Taro's, I can literally hear him laughing at me at the moment. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> uh, this is the message, right? And it makes sense. This week we need to slow down, right? When everything else around you speeds up, this is time for you to slow it down. Take a moment, take a breath take it back to ground. You need to really stop and think, reassess, reevaluate. What are you doing at the moment? What needs to be done immediately? What can you put off? What can you delegate? And where is it that you may need to start again? This is a week where you really need to pay attention to that. And I kind of feel like I'm literally talking to an aspect of myself here, which of course I am, because this is my sun sign. So let's have a look, see at what are um let's have a look at what our uh ooh, sectors of the week are not too many all right so this week for our actions and options we have the six of cups it's really interesting because i had a dream last night literally at the time of recording this last night i had a dream about the six of cups so this is really interesting um well with the six of cups and the Mercury retrograde and the hanged man in the process. Uh, a friend, possibly for some of us, uh, an ex will be coming back into the picture this week. Uh, this could be a friend that you were really close to that maybe you lost touch with, maybe somebody that you haven't seen for a long time, maybe somebody that you fell out with. Um, this week there is going to be a revisiting or a re, uh, maybe even a revelation, you know, maybe a, an old friend comes back or, because this is your actions and options, remember, maybe you're reaching out to an old friend or an old partner. This could be a week. If there's somebody you want a reconnection with, this week would be the week where you could do the reconnecting and you may very well get the result that you're hoping for. So just something to, for you to, to consider or to think about. For your communications and conversations, we have the Ten of Cups. I like this, right? So even with the Mercury retrograde, um, that Ten of Cups basically says that this week there is a strong sense of community that can be found, right? And this is about asking yourself, it's not even about asking yourself, this is about really getting into and aligned with what and who resonates with you at a spiritual level. If there's ever been a time where you were gonna put time, energy, or credence into what your intuition and your spirituality say to you, this would be a week, right? Uh, now, a lot of people say like, oh, you know, Aquarius is highly scientific, and it absolutely is. But the way that I see our sign is, it's at the literally the, the bridge between logic and intuition. And this week, what you're being asked to do is to tap into your intuition. Trust that, pay attention to it this week. If there were ever gonna be a week where you were gonna put the linear analytical side, uh, not down, but to one side, this would be a week where you would get the most out of that. For those of you that work for somebody else, this is a week for you to trust that somebody else may know better than you. <laughs> I just said those words and I'm like, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> right, I, I get this, because this is me as well, right? I'm talking to myself too here, guys. Um, but this would be a week where you may need to consider that somebody else knows better than you, and it might be a week where you need to learn to trust that somebody else does have your best interests at heart. When it comes to those of you that are business owners, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, that Ten of Cups, very similar energy, but it's also going to see you really discovering um, what I would call a tribe member. This week, do not be surprised if you connect with somebody or you have a conversation with somebody and you just think, wow, you know what? You feel like tribe, you know, you feel like my people. Um, you know, you might not even have known them for that long. This could be as well for a select few of you. Maybe you're connecting with somebody that you already know in a deeper way. Uh, and this is really, really nice. For those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason, this is you focused on the home, focused on the family. Uh, this is gonna be you really focused on getting the most out of what you have, whether that's the rest of your time, your resources, like whatever. This is about you looking for the best experience that you can have with whatever is available to you now. For your money and materials, you have the Knight of Wands. I actually really like this. Um, it suggests that this week you could have an idea that feels like a go-getter. It does suggest to me as well, for a lot of you this week, you will be laying the capstone or the, uh, not the capstone, this week you'll be laying the cornerstone. You know, like when you have a big project or an idea that comes to you, this week you're gonna be making those first steps, uh, you know, which is good, right? This is because in the beginning or the inception of a project, that's when you have time to research, to figure out, you know, how am I gonna do this? Does this work? Is this the right way? It's, you know, it's gonna see you being able to do all of that. This isn't necessarily the, the right week to launch a business or to start something. You've got that Mercury retrograde. You know, if it's in an official capacity, not the greatest week to start something. But if you're taking those initial steps or you're trusting that sort of inner drive and, and push, this is a great week for that for sure. Um, so for that reason, yeah, I think the money is good for your physical health and vitality, your hips, lower back, thighs, um, you know, your groin, all of that sort of general area. This would be a week to, to watch out for that, especially if you're doing any sort of exercise and especially if it's an exercise that you haven't done for a while. This would be, you know, make sure you do your warm ups this week because the chances are that you might end up pulling something. And trust me, a groin injury is not the one. Um, <laughs> if you're anything like me as well, like you're too much of a prude to go in and be like, hi, yeah, I've got a groin injury. I pulled my, my muscle right here. And you're like, oh, awkward. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, anyway. So um, for your uh, home and environment, for a lot of you, this is going to see you really put in the dots together. Now, remember I said this to you a while back, Aquarius is gonna be one of these signs that over the next year, possibly over the next three years, there is going to be a lot of movement. Uh, I mean, especially when you consider that Uranus is in Taurus, which is the fourth sign from Aquarius, right? Which means that certainly for at least the next two to three years, there's gonna be a lot of movement, change, upheaval, uh, you know, revolution on the home front in some way, shape or form. This week, you could see some of that, but it may find, this might be a week where you either find the destination that you want to move to, or um, something calls you away from home and it may very well be something to do with the family. This is very likely to be something that you're not in control of. It's just something that you're gonna have to be um, on hand for. And then finally, for your love and relationship with the Seven of Pentacles. For those of you that are single, um, you are very much gonna connect with somebody, but this isn't somebody brand new. This is somebody that you already know. This is very likely to be a reconciliation, a reconnection, uh, a realignment, a recalibration of some sort. All of those rewords, definitely very possible. And that seven of pentacles means that if you are going backward in some regard, you're gonna do this in a way that is, um, it's kind of like the way that you, you know when you, you look at something you think, you know, you know what, if I were gonna do that now, I'd have done it differently like this, this and this. If you are reconnecting with someone, this is the time. If you're gonna do that, you can put the things in place that you would have done had you, you know, 
you know, if I wish I knew now what I knew then, you know, I wish I knew then what I know now. This week you could have that, right? It's definitely a potential. Uh, and then for those of you that are um, in partnerships or in relationships, this is great. There is a slow, steady, very focused, very sustainable kind of energy that's coming through here. It looks like whatever challenges Aquarians uh, have had in their relationships previously, this could be a week where you really start to feel like, you know what, yes, not only was the work worth it, there's still a ways to go for sure, but not only was that work worth it, but we are in a good space now, which is wonderful, right? It's good to give you some good news finally. <laughs> With that said, ah, oh, and uh, for those of you that are celebrating this week, happy damn birthday to you. Uh, remember to fill the day of your solar return with a little bit of everything that you want this entire 12 month period from here on in to have in it for you all right with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff take care and i'll see you soon